Brittany, we are live still outside in front of the or ORMC emergency room. We've seen several medical helicopters coming and going, transporting patients here. We were told that they brought in extra uh, trauma surgeons overnight just to handle the victims coming in. We are seeing there's still some police presence out here as well now. We are told that um, grief counselors with Victim Service Center of Central Florida, they are here at the hospital. They're also at the uh, Hampton Inn, the hotel that uh, – that the uh, uh, police and, the, and, and officials are asking families of these victims to go to, to get help. We're told they're there helping those people, the people, the families, the friends, the loved ones who are just trying to get information and trying to learn more about what's going on. They're there helping those people now. We also, while out here, have seen several witnesses, several people who were inside Pulse nightclub last night, early this morning, when all this shooting and everything went down. We talked to several of them, actually. One man told us that he... Uh, saw the shooter. He, he heard the gunshots. He called it a, a bloodbath. He said the shooter was actually standing in front of the exit, so people were trying to run out, and that's where the shooter was, is what he was telling me, and, and firing those gunshots. He was actually able to get out toward the back and get out safely before it turned into that hostage situation. Now, another man I spoke to, he said he actually left the club 15 minutes before the shooting happened, so we're talking about like around 1.45, and the shooting happened around 2 o'clock this morning. He left right before the shooting happened, and he said that, um, you know, by the grace of God, that, you know, he walked out and he was safe prior to anything happening. But he did tell me that he lost several friends last night in that shooting. Five of his friends passed away from that shooting. And uh, we uh, spoke to him, and here's what he had to tell us about what he wants us to remember about his friends and loved ones. They were beautiful people, and they didn't deserve that at all. And I pray that when, when they go to heaven, that they see everybody that cares for them. Back out live at the hospital weekend, we are seeing lots of uh, police activity out here still. There's a helicopter, if you see, just picking up, leaving the hospital. So they are still bringing in patients. We're told everyone who was here uh, from overnight and into today, they were in critical condition. We are waiting to get an update from uh, the hospital staff as to if there's been any updates in the number of victims and, the, and their conditions, anything like that. We haven't heard about that since uh, since this morning at the previous uh, news conference from earlier today. So we are out here, again, just waiting to get to the latest. Hopefully we'll get another update. There goes another helicopter, so it's quite still an active scene out here. Uh, we'll bring you the latest uh, once we get and learn more. Uh, Ginger, Justin? Amanda, thank you, and I'm sure this is a scene we will say, see play out for many hours to come. And